Eddie Fazone of Eddie F's New England Seafood Restaurant has been to the Winter Circle before as an owner, but it was never in Saratoga until this summer when his Philly Dream Central got him his first win at the spa in the inaugural running of the Susie O'Kane Steaks. We stopped by and visited Dream Central and Eddie F ahead of the Phillies' next start in the Steaks this week. From uh, Schenectady, New York, uh, been in the restaurant business for a long period of time. Um, started Eddie F's restaurant in 2016 and started Eddie F's racing in 2018. We have a great clientele. We're growing every year. Uh, everybody uh, loves it. For the whole belly clams, we get people coming in the restaurant. Actually tell me they have dr drove two hours just to get the whole belly clams because they're hard to find. At the track, you get a lot of exposure. Um, so yeah, you get people from all over the world coming to Saratoga. So. Yeah, just to get your name out there is really, you know, it's something special to be at Saratoga. Me and Gary met up here in Saratoga like 35 years ago, and we built a friendship. And uh, I originally bought Chowder first. He's the older brother, full brother to Lobster. He broke his maiden at uh, Aqueduct, and then when we won the Gander Stakes with him, that was like, man, never thought that would happen. Small, you know, we're small stable. Um, you know, I got 12 horses right now. No matter of uh, won the first one 2020, so it's only been two years. We won five stake races. Uh, you know, something that you would never think that would would happen. You know, I bought Dream Central uh, uh, privately from John Jaco, owner of uh, Fedwell Farms. Same farm I bought Chowder Lobster. Bought her as a two-year-old in like March of last year. She made her debut in November of uh, 2021. And then we put her in the stake as a maiden, as you know, 39 to one, won the race. And from there, there, here, there, here we are. I really had my mind made up like two months before. I, w I really thought she was gonna break her maiden going into that race. I didn't think she was gonna get there at the eighth pole. I mean, when she changed leads there, she just changed gears and just nail, nail that horse at the wire. It was like, oh my God, this is great. First win for me at Saratoga. Stakes race, couldn't, couldn't ask for anything better than that. It is she, Zamiya, and Dream Central, and they are one, two. Coming on to the finish, and it's a photo finish. Dream Central may have gotten up in the final. She's running uh, Thursday in the Sire Stakes, it's called the Statue of Liberty. She's been training, in, you know, she's been training right along. She's been training good. And uh, once the gates open, there's nothing more to, you know, it's out of our control. and. But Gary, like I said, Gary and Paul have done a great job with her and, uh, you know, looking for hopefully another win here on Thursday. As owners, we just buy the horses, but this is where these guys here, what they do every day and Gary and his team have been so great. At the end of the day, you gotta listen to your trainer. I've been coming to Saratoga since I've been as long back as I can remember. I know my parents used to bring us in a stroller, so when they used to want to come. So I've been coming to this place here. So that's why um, when Dream Central won that race there, it was so special for me to, to win that race. Just being able to run in a race like that, a stake race at Saratoga, let alone any race is special. So we're looking forward to it.